When I was young, I was somebody that my mom like used to see like some kind of visions about me. She would tell me, ah, whenever she's sleeping or having vision about me, dream, it's all about seeing me gathering people. But you know, because she was a pastor, so she believed, ah, I think this boy is going to take over me. And because I was very close to my mom, especially when it comes to her in our church, I sing in our church, I play instrument in our church. All of a sudden, I became like a young pastor, like, you know, preach on the street and stuff. But time goes on, inside me, uh, something is telling me, are you sure I belong here in the church? Because it was more like I was just forcing myself into something. Besides, if I go outside the church, I found this happiness when I see people, bands playing music or people singing, you know? The church part of it was more like becoming boring for me because it's like we're repeating the same thing. Praise and worship, after praise and worship, you know, like that, all those kind of stuff. It was more like the same thing. Then I tried to see if, if I can write some gospel song. I did, but it didn't, it didn't go far. So one day, um, I told my mom that there is this my friend that is going for a music competition that I want to join him. But then my mom said, okay, what kind of music are you going to do? I said, mom, I don't know, it's the guy's music. So when my mom found out that it was a secret brand, she tried to kick against it. I should not go. I told her, I think I have to go. I'm just going there to go and back the guy up. So when I went there, I went for the competition. I didn't go far. Uh, Quarterfinal, we lost, me and the guy. But then, the next year, the guy said, Paul, go for this. In fact, this when, when they say, sometimes you need to listen to some people that believe in you. This guy told me, even during, when he, during his own competition, the attention was on me. So this time he said, Paul, next year, make sure you go for this thing because you can do it. So the, that was how the journey started then. There are other ups and downs, you know, especially when you have to do believe. The first time I came to Lagos, in fact, I took a night bus with my other brother Jude. We were trying to look for market and we were going to release, um, release our song. In fact, I came to Lagos at the bus park, just one slow motion um, slow traffic where people are by trying to sell bread in the window. I looked outside, oh my God, I've, the kind of lifestyle I saw, I said, are you sure I can live here? I can, are, you, are you sure I can base here? So when I got to Idumota, started looking for marketer, nobody was interested, everything. And our plan was to we'll arrive in the morning, do everything, leave in the night with night bus. So one particular guy gave us an appointment for the next day. So we were able to use our, almost everything we had to pay for hotel. When I called the guy that was, okay, we are coming, he said, no, make it next tomorrow. My brother, we used everything we had to stay in the hotel to see this guy. Then when I started joining, then my other brother Jude was into movies. So we were sleeping in the hotel reception side because we couldn't afford, but Jude was to beg somebody, let me take a shower, you know, come out, just wait. In fact, I was always at the reception, just watching TV there. But finally, we didn't meet this guy. Now, how do we go home? The transport was spent, everything. So we got to the park, tried to see whether we can do attachment, or we know one of these buses that we know, we might see somebody we know. Unfortunately, we met one guy who was uh, very good, at, somebody that attends my mom's church. When I told him this is our problem, he said, okay, no problem. We can only afford one ticket. So when I beg those people, to, the bus owners to if you can do attachment where you have seats, seat, they put wood, you sit in the middle. That's how we went back to Joss and I made up my mind I'm not coming to Lagos anymore. You not go to Joss, you find out that the music is there. But we have to create that awareness where the music will really go far. You don't have it in Joss. Just then was just one TV station, one radio station. And there you are in Lagos, then you have like 15 radio stations then. Our major challenges was to shoot videos. So we went to one place in Joss where they do movie, their movie industry, rented their biggest camera. In fact, I can remember the video we shot. After we did the ones we did in Lagos, and what I'm telling you is even after they speak they do Senorita period, people think we've arrived. She, she will not get to. People thought we've arrived. Nothing. That is when you start seeing the real frustration. You, when your music is bigger than you. When I say music, your music is out there. You have totally nothing to show for it. You are still jumping on cutter. Before they even introduce a um, helmet, I've, I've introduced it for myself. My face is everywhere at Africa. So I wear a helmet just to cover the shame. Even because then I was in school, University of Abuja. And uh, seriously, I lost so many serious girlfriends for being popular, your song being big and you have nothing. But those ones, shout out to those ones that decided to stay. Those ones still reason, so I'm not still reason with me. That you know. So the frustration was too much. But generally, why I'm sharing these stories is that I, wa I want you guys to understand that see, there's nothing in this life that comes easy. It's a funny world where we are today. But let me tell you, if it was that easy, 
I won't last for this long. Now, because it was very tough, um, the journey was, wasn't a straight road, serious up and down, you know. I keep, I still want to maintain it that way because I don't want to go back there. Um, you don't want to know where, I'm, where I was coming from when I say Joss. Joss is a good place, but lifestyle, man, huh? It's like Lagos is America. So guys, I just want to share this story to let you guys know that. Yes, I don't want to go through that details. Um, because it wasn't easy, but I thank God I made it. And as I'm sharing my, my freedom story, I want you to look at the hustle, work hard, never give up. If I can make it, you guys still can make it. God bless you.